A round of applause for captain of the Super Eagles, Ahmed Musa. Good evening, everyone. I'm very sorry. I'm a very shy person when you come to talk. <laughs> yeah, let me go a little bit in 2013 because it's a privilege working under the boo and my elbow dad. Samson Sears here, and late Steven Skeji, and my senior man over here. I really thank you for all the word of encouragement that you give to me. Whenever we go to Kam, he doesn't want to stay with anyone, only Ahmed Musa, because I'm the only youngest player then playing from Nigeria to the Super Eagles. And not only Super Eagles, I play for the under 20, under 23, and then the Super Eagles in only one month. So for me, it's a privilege whenever I wear that jersey, green and white. That is why whenever I have two minutes, and my first game is in Calabar, just five minutes get me till today in Super Eagles. So the word of encouragement that I have in my senior man, most of my coaches here, keep me working so hard and my former presido because I remember when I was in Leicester I wasn't playing and then this man called the coach and said no matter what even though Ahmed Musa's leg is on the up you have to call him and I went to that World Cup and be one of the best player why because he believed in me he's the first person when I was playing in Jude FC he wanted to buy me from Jude to Worry Wolves because he knew what he saw in me when I was playing in Nigeria. I would say thank you very much, sir. And my mommy over here, always encouraging us, no matter what, not only women football, even men, she always come over to give us the support that we need. With this video that I just watched now, if you see the current Super Eagles, they, they never stay in Nigeria. So this is what we need. In 2013, nobody believed in us. Our game against Africos, our ticket to come back to Nigeria have, have already been booked. Because nobody believed that we can go there because we have seven home base players and we have five players from the home base starting. Because the chief coach and the boo here believe in all the players because I work under him in the home base when I was playing in Kano Pillars. So we need to go back to that starting point. We have a local league. I start from the local league. If, if nobody believe in me in local league, I will not be where I am today. So we have to go back to our local league because we have a lot of players. What are they playing for? If we don't call them in the Super Eagle, we will not encourage them. Because everyone wants to go to Europe. Because they think Nigeria football is no more interested or they don't pay them a lot of money. But for me, you remember I come back to Kano Pillars. Even though it's 500,000, if you are paying them and they're getting it, they will not think of going outside. Because you have everything that you need. You have your family here. Over there, you are just staying alone. Only football, watch Netflix listening to music, the life is boring, with all the money. That is why I will say thank you very much to the present president because with this campaign, even 2013, nobody believed in us and we went there to win. And with all this that is taking today, with all this support, with the current support that we are having from the sport minister, I know we'll do a lot and we're going to make Nigeria proud in 2024 in January. The game yesterday was not what we want. That is football. You always win, you lose. And the media plays. We have a young boys in the team. A lot of them don't take that pressure. Because whenever you are playing, they think, oh, after I play finish, I'll go to my social media, I will see a lot of insult. Oh, Ahmed Musa don't play. Fuck you. You have to retire. We have a lot of players that they are not supposed to retire in the team. But because of what the media are saying, 
we have to force them to go out from the team. As you can see, we still need someone like Mikel Obi in the team. We still need like Victor Moses. It's not all about young players in the team because you need someone to take them along. But right now we don't have that. A lot of people have been saying, oh, Musa is old. No, I started from young. I started in the Super Eagles, I think 19, 19 years. So I've been there since because whenever I wear that jersey, it's a privilege for me. And it's a proud to me. That is why everybody is thinking, oh, Musa has been staying in Super Eagles for long. No. I started early. Why? Because I love my country. And I know whenever we lose, I have a family back home. I know the pressure that because when they are working on the pitch, hey, my mother be that. More in Sota. Definitely. So when I go into the pitch, I will put all what I have so that nobody's going to insult my family. But nowadays with the players we have, none of them staying in Nigeria, they don't know that anger that all of us here are facing whenever we lose. I cry a lot when we didn't qualify to the, Afghan, to the World Cup. I know what our ex-president did. We stayed in the hotel for almost, in a room, 500,000 per player. He do all his best so that we qualify to the World Cup, but we didn't go. We lose a lot of money. And that is why most of our players right now they are facing challenges because when you don't go to the World Cup, no matter what you are playing, you always go down. So we as a player, we lose money. But nowadays I understand why football, all the fans are anger because the betting spoil football nowadays. <laughs> I will say that because you are not supporting Super Eagles because most of us don't support Super Eagles because we like them. No, hey, you don't cut my ticket. You will pay my money. You, you, you see most of our DM, you caught my ticket, you will pay me. Fuck you. You know, Sabi so play anything. But before, you love the football because of the love, the passion you have for your country. But nowadays, the betting has spoiled everything. So please and please, I'm begging to the media. Please, take it easy with all these our young boys. They can't take too much pressure. That's why whenever they go to the, into the pitch to play, they panic because they are thinking about what I'm going to see in my Twitter account, Instagram, Facebook. What make Odio Igalo stop football playing the Super Eagles because they threaten to kill his family? Then he have to quit. Why will you threaten to, to kill my family just because I'm playing for my country? When you go outside, you see how they worship us. But when you come back home, they treat you like nobody. Look at most of our S footballers, how they are doing. Yeah, we understand we live a big life, we understand, but some of us don't have that money. We need to support them. And this, I'm going to my father, the sport minister. Please, we need something from you that is going to take care of our old players. Because we always see a lot of people complaining. Please and please, I'm begging, sir, just look into this, this matter because we understand what is going on. That is why most of us think nowadays you have to think about the business that you, need, you have to do because after football, that is when life started. So if you don't plan well, yeah, we understand you have to enjoy but some of us don't have that privilege to go to where we are or to earn that big money that most of us are earning. So please and please, and to the president too, please, we are begging. I'm taking all this and I need this video, please, so that this is what most of our players need. When I'm sitting down there to hear what this lady is saying, I have to share tears because this is what we need. We need this encouragement because none of us, most of us don't stay in Nigeria. For me, I always come to Nigeria. Because of this occasion, I have to fly from my club to come here. So I will say thank you very much for the organizers for doing everything, my ticket, everything, thank you. I'm taking all this to my teammates to tell them 2024 is for the Super Eagles and for Nigeria.
And inshallah, I'm promising all, we'll do all our best to make Nigeria happy. Because I remember that celebration in 2013, when we land in the airport, there is no road for us to pass for over two hours. And this is the only game that makes us one in Nigeria. Nobody think about Mus Musa is a Muslim, or in is a Christian, Victor, no. We always think one whenever we play this game of sport, football, whenever Super Ego are playing. I can remember in, in Russia, even though I made Musa for president because of just two goals. <laughs> so you can see how Nigeria love football. So thank you very much once again. I will take all this to my teammates and tell them. And I promise you, inshallah, we'll make all Nigeria proud in Africa 2024. Thank you.